Hey, it's Ben, and in this video, we'll be going over what make.com is, we'll go over how it works, a quick walkthrough example, some popular use cases, and finally some alternatives. All right, let's get straight into it. So make.com is a visual automation platform that lets you connect apps and automate just about anything without any code needed. It's like Zapier, but more power and customization. The name Make comes from its focus in helping you make more powerful decisions in your business. Here's how it works. Make connects the apps you already use like Gmail, Slack, Google Sheets, and 2000 more, so they can work together automatically. You create what's called a scenario, which is Make's name for automation or workflow. It's what tells Make what to do when something happens. Every scenario needs a trigger. This is the event that starts it. In other words, what needs to happen in order for this automation to fire, like receiving a new email. Then you set an action, which is what you want Make to do after that trigger has been fired. For example, send a Slack message or update a Google spreadsheet. The whole thing is built in a drag and drop builder, so it's super easy to create a scenario. All right, let me show you how it works. Okay, so before we jump into the demo, here's a quick look around of what the dashboard looks like inside of Make. So you have your organization over here. This is your main account overview where you can see usage, credits, teams, and settings. And then you have teams where you can manage who has access to your automations and collaborate with others on your workspace. Then we have scenarios. This is where all the automations live, which is the core of make.com. And then we have AI agents. This lets you create smart AI assistants that can take actions for you. This is a newer feature and I haven't tested it out myself. Then we have templates, which are pre-built automations you can use to save time and get started faster. This is where you can link your apps and services to make so that they can be used in the workflows. And then right at the bottom, we have resource hub, help, and notifications. These are just extra tools to stay updated, get support and learn as you go. All right, let's jump into a demo. The example we're going to build is when we receive an email with a specific subject line, we want to automatically send a Slack message to our team. So we're going to build that workflow or that scenario and see how it works. So jump into your make.com account, then you can either come over to scenarios or just click on create scenario in the top right corner here. When you do the editor will open and you'll see this big plus button. This is like your trigger button. So again, what needs to happen in order for this automation to fire? So in our example is to receive an email with a specific subject line. So what we're going to do is type in Gmail and you'll see the action will appear. So I'm just going to click on it and then I'm going to choose the trigger to be watch emails. This is going to say that it's going to watch for the email for that specific subject line and then take action. So I'm going to say watch email. Then you'll see this block appear. All you have to do is click on create a connection, which is just connecting your Gmail to make. So you can do that by clicking sign in with Google and then just complete the process. It should be pretty quick, just like that. Then you're going to select the folder, which is which inbox you want to watch over inside your email account. So if you have a specific one, then you would select that, but I'm going to choose the main inbox. Then for the filter type, I'm going to leave a simple filter and then select the criteria to be all emails. Then I'm going to leave this as no, which means it's not going to mark the email as read when it comes in. And then below that, we have the maximum number of results. We're going to keep it as one and then click on save. I'll click on all emails and then click on save again. Okay. So your trigger has been saved, but we want to make sure that it's only pulling from a subject line. So to do that, click on the trigger again, come down to show advanced settings, toggle this on, and then we want to come to subject line and maybe type make video and then click on save. Again, I'm going to click on all emails and then click on save again. And now it's fully done. So what this trigger is saying is that whenever we get an email that has make video as the subject line, this automation or scenario is going to fire. So once we receive that email with that specific subject line, we want to send the Slack message. So in order to do that, you need to add a Slack action. To do that, click on the plus button over here and then just come to the search tab and type in Slack. I'll click on the first option here. We're going to scroll down to send message or create a message. And then we're going to click on create a connection, which again is just connecting your Slack account to your make.com account so that it can pull that information across. So click on create a connection, select the connection type to be Slack user, click on save. Then you'll see the pop-up appear where we can just connect the Slack account. Perfect. So the connection has been established. Now we can add the filters like selecting the channel ID. I'm going to click on search from a list. I'll select private channel and then select the private channel to be ideas. And then I'm going to select the text to be, Hey, just got an email about the make video. I'm going to click on save. Cool. So I'm going to send a test example from my phone. It's going to have the subject line of make video. So when I click on send, so the email has arrived, you'll see in the inbox here, make video. If I come back to the scenario, click on run once. And then if I come over to Slack and then come down to the ideas channel that we selected, you'll see that the message has been passed through. Hey, just got an email about the make video. Great. So we know the scenario works, but here are some alternatives and the different ways that people use make in their operations. The first one is lead follow up, like sending a new lead from Facebook straight into your CRM, and then maybe follow up instantly with a personalized email. Next is AI powered email summary, like using it to summarize emails with open AI, then send a quick digest to Slack with the summary possibly. Next could be a client onboarding flow, like creating folders or assigning tasks and sending a welcome message automatically. These these type of workflows can save a lot of time. And once you start building it, you'll see how easy it is to fit this into your business. All right, so clearly Make is very powerful, but it is not the only option out there. Let's quickly talk about a few alternatives. First, we have Zapier. It's a great starting point for beginners. It's simple to use, but it is more limited once you need advanced customization or logic. Then we have Pabli. It's a more budget-friendly option. You pay a flat fee for higher tier plans with unlimited workflows, but it doesn't have the same flexibility or integrations as Make. I think Zapier also has around 8,000 different connections, whereas Make has 2,000. And naturally we have Make, which gives you full visual control, 
advanced logic and deeper customization all in its drag and drop interface it charges based off of operations which is basically how many steps your automation took so it's super flexible and you only pay for what you use but there's another alternative which in my opinion is the best especially if you're looking for an all-in-one system that already includes a lot of automation power if you're looking for that then go high level might be the better fit it's designed for agencies and service businesses and covers crm emails sms pipeline automations calendars and a lot more all in one platform the best part is that most of the actions inside of high level are included in the base plan and even premium workflows don't even cost that much extra like they do in zapier and make they've got things called workflows or automations where you can also build a whole bunch of complex different designs inside of high level you can also build a whole bunch of different automations and the thing is with them most of the actions are completely free and you can have unlimited amounts of them or how many actions you can use whatever you want to build you can build so make zapier and pavli are more specialized connection softwares high level has that as well but it also has all those other things like the crm automations sms calendars pipelines and again so much more so that's make.com in a nutshell a powerful way to automate your workflows and save many hours on manual work but if you want to go a step deeper and run your entire business from one platform then check out this video about high level it comes with some pretty cool bonuses too my name is ben and thanks for watching